girl buy if you don't rush to amazon right now and go buy these dang whitening strips i know it's not sponsored but it's really not i really love to help my sisters out like i love helping y'all out giving you guys advice for free even if it's not sponsored which I really don't do sponsorships or paid promotion. I don't ever do those. So y'all know if I'm requesting something, I'm requesting it out of the love of my heart, girl. And when I tell y'all, first of all, I love the color of my teeth. I have very nice teeth, especially in person, but like on camera, things are inverted and like camera can make your teeth look totally different. I love my teeth. I get so many compliments on my smile, which is kind of crazy because it was one thing that I was extremely insecure about growing up. And then sometimes I'm still like, you know, veneers. But then I always get a compliment right after that. Like, oh my gosh, your smile is so beautiful. Your teeth are so beautiful. And I know it's the Lord confirming that, you know, my teeth are just fine. But like I said, I was confident in the teeth color, right? But then I noticed that if I'm filming inside of a store and the lighting is not good, my teeth can look straight yellow. And girl, we're not with it. So I went ahead and started using my whitening strips again, just so that they can still look a little brighter even when I'm in stores. Because... I don't like that. I don't like the whole yellow teeth look on me. I try to keep up with myself. Y'all know I'm real big on hygiene. So even though in person they don't look how they do on camera, girl, I want them to look a little brighter on camera. So I'm rambling too much, but yes, girl, these whitening strips, oh my gosh, y'all, they are so amazing. I have these up on my Amazon storefront. I will get like a little tiny commission. So if you want to go ahead and buy it off my Amazon storefront, I would truly appreciate it, but you don't have to, no pressure, girl. These are fire. Sensitive teeth and they're a little shaded or tinted and you want them to be brightened without the sensitivity, go ahead and get those because I literally have zero sensitivity every single time when using those. But I do suggest when using those to go ahead and get a paper towel and dry your teeth before putting those on because they're more of a gel so they're not very sticky. The only way they will stick for the full 30 minutes is if you go ahead and dry your gums and dry your teeth with a paper towel. Anyway, y'all, I am totally rambling. My background is so cute, you guys. I have my laptop right here because I just got done making my video public, my recent video, my little vlog or whatever. Yes, ma'am. I don't think I did my introduction, y'all. I'm just getting a little too excited, getting a little too carried away with myself. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to your girl's channel. It is me, Chloe Yasmin, and girl, I'm sitting here. I am present, and I am so excited for the day. Y'all, I have been literally doing better than ever, and I'm just, like, so excited about it. But I'm also so excited because, y'all, y'all know. If you know, if you know, if you know, if you're a real loyal subscriber and you watched my first video coming back, then you know my mama, she hooked the sister up with my hair. It don't look too good right now because I've had it in for like almost two weeks. I was gonna let it go a little longer. But once again, I wanna feel very confident on camera and I noticed that like, since it's like this, I don't wanna have it down because it's been in the humidity, it's been, it's gotten wet, now it's more drier and more frizzy. So it's time to go ahead and refresh and get my curls in. I was gonna let it go a little longer, but I'm repeating myself. What the heck am I doing? I'm repeating myself. I just said this. I'm going to circles. I want to feel confident on camera and I noticed that since I won't wear it down, I wear it back in a ponytail. The ponytail is so cute in person, once again, but on camera, I just don't like the way it looks on camera. I don't know what hairstyles look good, you know, with me and that go with my style and go with my facial structure and that hairstyle is not cute on camera in any way, shape, or form. So no more ponytails, no more of that, babe. We getting back to the curly hair, which I prefer my curly hair anyway. I've never been like a straight hair girl. I've never wanted straight hair. Like y'all never really see me in straight hair. So, with that being out the way, we are washing our hair today so I get to see what my hair looks like without it being straight and I get to see the actual length and I'm so excited because I'm hoping that it's going to be like a cute little short curly bob or whatever because y'all know shrinkage is a mug with curly hair. I'm just so excited. I feel like I am all over the place with filming right now, but girl, we're about to go ahead and hop in the shower and wash this hair. Ah! But beforehand, I want to go ahead and do some morning or afternoon or night encouragement. It all depends on what you're watching this is, but girl. Y'all know I love Joyce Meyer books. Of course, I always read my Bible. This does not replace my Bible. Like Joyce Meyer books do not replace the Bible, can't and never will. But I really do suggest reading your Bible and also reading other books, like Christian books, because I love my Joyce Meyer books. I prefer these like overall because they just give you that extra spark of motivation and the extra spark of, you know, understanding to a situation. I don't think that would be an extra spark, but it gives you more understanding to a situation that you could be facing, you know, today or things are a little different now than when the Bible was written. And so, you know, new preachers and things like that can touch on certain things that may not have been touched on in the Bible. Times are very different. So I do love to read her books because she's touching on stuff that's going on right now. Not saying that the Bible doesn't. The Bible is literally goes with the time. But I think y'all get what I'm saying. Okay. Be yourself, girl. Be yourself. Sometimes I could beat myself up while filming because I feel like I'm all over the 
of the place or maybe I'm talking too fast but baby that's me like that's literally how I am like if I slow down and try to get like super professional I'm not having fun that way so girl we're being us but anyway y'all like I was saying before I go ahead and hop in the shower I do want to go ahead and read some things that I had found in this Joyce Meyer book I actually just finished it today but Jordan bought me this overload book by Joyce Meyer and we just finished the last chapter but yesterday when I was reading it I really found some things that were extremely helpful in just day-to-day -day life because I noticed that there are some mornings where I know what I have to get done and I know that I'll feel great after I get it done but I dread getting it done and dread literally is so dangerous so let's go ahead and read if I approach something in dread I'm setting myself up for misery before I even begin because dread creates stress. But if I refuse to dread or have a negative outlook, I open the door for God to work supernaturally and help me. I can choose my own perspective. Jesus didn't promise that we'd never have to deal with stressful situations, y'all. I'm sorry, that's a little bit of a tongue twister for me. In John 16, 33, he said, In the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you oh my gosh I'm gonna read that again and this is John 16 33 Let me read it to y'all again in the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration but be of good cheer which means take courage be confident certain undaunted for I have overcome the world I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you in this world we are going to face stressful situations we are going to face situations that just don't make sense we are going to face situations that could literally if we allow it break us situations that we feel that there is absolutely no way out of there's no way around it situations that we feel that we don't have the strength to get through and conquer but if you continue to walk the walk with Christ and you allow him to live life with you the one that has overcome the world the one that has deprived it of power to harm you you gonna be good. Let me tell y'all something. I am a very, very, very strong woman. I'm a very hard one to break. I'm very stubborn, so I'm a fighter. I'm gonna come out fighting. And I'm talking about spiritually here. I'm gonna fight to the end until I get my victory. So I have not felt so at a low and so at rock bottom until this recent situation happened online. And things like that usually don't break a sister. Things like that usually don't even put a dent in my flow and in what I do. Because I always recognize, girl, you're a hater, you're jealous, I get it, I get it. You wanna be me, but you can't. So I understand. I've always had haters my whole entire life, but this particular time, I know the Lord allowed it to go as far as it did for me to come back so happy so strong and to get my fire and passion back because even before everything went down I was losing it so it wasn't just the online attack it was what was going on spiritually in my life okay so I wasn't just going through you know online most of it was going on behind the scenes because demons will torment you and I know the Lord allowed that to happen for my good and I'm seeing it all happen and work out for my good. I told my mom, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk out with the victory. I started to get more like I'm ready to fight. And once I hit that point, I was good, okay? Because that's how my mom and I are. There's only so much time we're gonna sit back and cry and you know, be more submissive to what's going on. And then we're gonna come out, we're gonna fight and we're gonna come out like lions. And the Lord gonna give us the strength each and every time. So I got to speak and I said, I'm gonna come out with the victory. I will win. I am winning right now. The victory has only started. This is just the beginning. The Lord ain't done justifying me and bringing me into victory it ain't over baby it ain't it ain't over we gotta walk around with strong bold confidence that we will win strong hope okay and i want to go ahead and speak about hope as well because i have some highlights that i want to go ahead and share on pages 218 and 219 in this book Ooh, i feel the holy spirit coming on in oh my goodness sometimes it's hard to get into the the role of talking on camera but man when i tell you when the holy spirit hit oh my gosh the holy spirit hit and the holy spirit is so strong because i feel it oh man i feel it man you don't understand what your mama be talking about till you get older you don't know what she be talking about till you get older you don't even know what some certain, certain gospel songs mean until you go through some so here go to the uh, highlights i wanted to go ahead and share first highlight says negative expectation always equals pressure and that means stress crap actually the first highlight I already shared on my recent video so I'm gonna share the other highlight hope is determined to see God's best and it never gives up God wants us to expectantly trust that he can change what needs to be changed that we can accomplish what he has called us to do and that his promises are going to come true in our life and that was one of the things I mean I'm I'm sitting up going through this 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 trial and I'm sitting up just like Lord but you promised me all these things I don't want to get emotional I'm like 
promised me these things, Lord. You promised me these things. And I really thought that they would happen. I just had faith that they would happen. But what I'm going through right now, screw it all. I'm going to call it what it is. I don't care anymore. And I started to get a little bit like my face started getting at a low. And I'm like, man, you promised me all of these things that would happen. But I don't even, I don't feel it anymore. I don't have faith for it anymore. And it is what it is. But I kept praying and pressing on. And I even prayed for my enemies. And that's very hard for me because I'm very stubborn. So he just kept telling me, please hold on, baby. I got you. I need you to hold on for me. I'm like, how much longer? I've never been through something that lasted this long. If we will be steadfast in our hope, we can't lose. We are determined to succeed with God's help. I can tell you for sure that our enemy, Satan, is always working to steal hope from us. He is the source of all the temptation we experience to be hopeless, anxious, and stressed out in life. But the truth is, is that we already have the victory as long as we apply God's wonderful principles to our life, trusting him at all times. Keep pressing on, baby. Never give up. Y'all know y'all hear my stomach rumbling a little bit, y'all. I'm a little hungry. I can't wait to go get some food. I have some plans for the day, y'all. Some cool things I want to go ahead and film. But the first things first is washing my hair. And when I tell y'all, keep that hope and that faith. Keep expecting good. Say, I will win. Trouble don't last always. So it's really all about perspective. So yes, there were times where, you know, my faith was at a low and I was getting a little negative with everything that I was going on. But let me tell you something, each and every time I still got back up and I praised and I worship and I still had faith that something good was going to happen. My faith wasn't as strong as it usually is, but just a little bitty faith. A little bit of faith. Faith is as big as a mustard seed can move mountains. So I pressed on and I'm doing so much better. And I know that the Lord has great plans for my life. I've always been a very like cheerful, faith-filled woman. And the fact that I literally recently wasn't really feeling like myself, it was like, oh, it was like torture, y'all. So I feel great. I'm just so excited to get back to life. You know, like Ah, I'm excited y'all and I'm very happy with everything that's going on. I have some other things that I wanted to say, but just speak things, y'all. I will win. I am victorious. I am strong. I am loved. And I have the strength to fight. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. I want to go ahead and share one more scripture because, like, okay, let me be real. Like, okay, so when I was watching my recent video, going to go ahead and upload it and stuff like that, like, I started to feel like insecure. I'm like, girl, I look crazy. Like, what's going on right now? Like, girl, the ponytail's not cute. My teeth looking yellow. I don't feel it. My acne scars are going crazy, which they're clearing up so well from um, Dr. Dennis Gross, Peel, or whatever. But then I read this this morning in the Lord. When I tell y'all, my father just be boom, right there. You good. I got Got you. I know you feel some kind of way. Come to me and I, I'll take care of it. Proverbs 31, 30 through 31. Charm can be deceptive and beauty doesn't last. But a woman who fears and reverences God shall be greatly praised. Praise her for the many fine things she does. These good deeds of hers shall bring her honor and recognition from people of importance. I'd rather be a woman who fears and reverences God than be all about my looks and all about the beauty. And that's one thing that gets us, you know, so caught up and keeps us behind in life is because we're insecure with our looks. We're insecure with this. We're insecure with that that girl be you rock you and keep it pushing because can't nobody be you there's only one you and these demons are jealous of us it is what it is we are made in god's image god's image oh my gosh that's absolutely beautiful gorgeous no mistake the lord don't make no mistakes so of course they're gonna try to make us feel bad about ourselves we're made in god's image stop playing with me now when I was reading this scripture, I was reading it in the Living Translation. Now, I looked at it in the English Standard Version, and it says, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. So I wanted to have a better understanding on like what vain means, because like I know what it means, but at the same time, I'm like, I just wanna like get the right definition. And it says, vain, producing no result, useless. So baby, looks ain't everything, because producing no result, useless. Anyways, girl, let's go ahead and wash this hair. Get smelling good because I have some new products I want to go ahead and share with you guys and try because I haven't tried them yet. Get ready. I'm going to go try to get some food. I'm going to head out. We'll talk about it later. Let's get in the shower, y'all. I got to wash this hair.
girl so i am now out of the shower and girl when i tell you i am so excited to see what my hair is gonna look like today i'm so excited because i remember last time when i cut my hair i told myself like I don't know if I'm gonna go back to long hair because this short hair is fitting a sister. So, girl, we're gonna see. We're gonna see because I might just be more happy with this shortcut again because I did this like a year and a half ago. My mom did it and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But I have to go ahead and get past this first. So, I have some new fragrance oils that I bought off of Etsy. I'm gonna go ahead and link her shop down below. Well, I'm talking a little too soon. If I don't like them, then I won't. But I'm gonna go ahead and try one today because of course I can't try a bunch of them. But I bought three fragrance oils, like perfume oils on Etsy. And these scents are already perfumes. They are just now perfume oils like of that fragrance so anyway let me go ahead and show y'all when i'm excited i go all over the place so yes i have three perfume oils from an etsy shop so the first one that i got is a versace bright crystal this is actually going to be the one that i use today i have alien by terry mugler which i wish that this came in purple because i'm all about color and it came brown and i'm like i don't know about that i like the purple because alien is purple not brown and then last but not least i got good girl by carolina herrera and when i tell y'all these all smell pretty spot on it's just that the Versace Bright Crystal one it smells a little bit extra floral whereas Versace Bright Crystal is like a sweet floral and this is more on the floral side and I'm not a big fan of floral so we're gonna go ahead and see how I like this I'm gonna go ahead and mix the fragrance oil with my Versace Bright Crystal lotion that I got for free and like this little gift set um so here is the perfumed body lotion yes ma'am I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together go ahead and moisturize my upper body and I'm gonna tell y'all what I like about it or tell y'all how I feel about it but today I am layering this product all over I have the fragrance oil i have the lotion i have the perfume and i have the hair perfume so girl we about to be smelling like bright crystal all over do not mind my lips they're red from a popsicle but i would also say that my favorite part about the bright crystal perfume is that the base notes come out like after hours when it mixes with your chemistry and it like calms down when i tell y'all the white musk note and i say white musk they say musk but i say white musk because i know the difference between musk and white musk white musk is so much more light and like fresh that note comes out so heavy after a couple hours and oh my gosh it's like my favorite part of that perfume so this perfume is fire because i'm starting to learn like a little bit more about perfume so the top notes are what you first smell the middle notes are what you smell after like a little while and then the base notes are what you smell after like a little wow wow and then base notes are popping i think all of them are but to smell it transition oh, it's exquisite Anyways, we know how big your girl is on smelling like very strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it. I know some folks be like, that is just too much. Like, do not listen to her. Like, you don't have to do all that. No, you don't have to. I'm just sharing what I, you know, what I do because I get heavy compliments daily. All right, we're gonna put the fragrance oil in here. Ah! Oh my gosh. I gotta find some kind of good unscented lotion that I could mix it in with to make like lotions in these scents. I already have the body cream in Alien and in Good Girl by Carolina Herrera and I have the lotion in Bright Crystal so I'm not really sure why I bought the oils. The oils are really good for if you cannot find a moisturizer in that fragrance and you can mix it with the fragrance free lotion to make it like a lotion. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that one's like very, like a lot more floral than the actual Versace Bright Crystal. It's not as sweet as I would like it to be but it definitely smells like pretty spot on. And girl, it is making this lotion so much stronger this lotion is like a very faint kind of like bright crystal lotion but when i tell y'all this oil oh my gosh girl hold on and it's not like too oily hold on girl hold on Ooh, girl i think we got something and it's putting like a little bit of glow on my skin if she had more fragrances that i was familiar with on her etsy shop i would buy so many more this is beautiful y'all i'm not gonna play hold on this is nice her etsy shop is down below she sells these fragrance oils i got the big bottles because i go through stuff so fast like hygiene products i love to smell good i don't like to you know have to scramble on my products y'all i had a recent crazy acne breakout on my chest so i had to use this stubborn acne neutrogena benzoyl peroxide stuff my dermatologist had gave me and it really did help clear it up like oh my gosh now you can just see like the little dead bumps like when they get dead they're like harder and darker and they're going away anyway yes oh my gosh yes this is like enhancing the hygiene game y'all see this coming off oh oh so i'm gonna go ahead and rate that perfume oil a 10 out of 10 i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed because 10 out of 10 would recommend this smells so strong and it's very moisturizing but it's not greasy oily y'all know i used to be into the whole greasy oily thing can't do it no more i have to do a very light oil this is perfect y'all oh my gosh like it's so perfect y'all see how my skin is not oily stop playing with me 
Let me go get dressed and we're about to go ahead and do this hair. Girl, it's drying real fast. We got to go ahead and hurry this up. I'm going to go ahead and apply some deodorant that I bought in my recent video. I'm trying out some new men's deodorants. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little. I didn't know that this deodorant was gel though. I wanted it to be more of like a solid powdery kind of deodorant. But girl, we'll try it out. We'll see. Better test the men's products because honey, they be doing us women both. All right. Now we can go ahead and hop straight into my hair. I've really been trying to work on this. Not trying to be perfect all the time time you know mental state because when I tell y'all I struggle real bad sometimes with trying to be perfect in every single way that it just it doesn't work out for my good it just never does so like even just now like I'm feeling great I'm feeling beautiful yes ma'am yes ma'am but I'm seeing like a new little pimple pop up and like I've had acne for so freaking long y'all it's so annoying so just that little pimple is really trying to discourage me <sighs> I'm not gonna let it though because I'm absolutely beautiful and I don't need to try to be perfect but yes ma'am we got a new one coming in but anyway we're beautiful with acne I do want to go ahead and start speaking about acne a lot more because you know you see a lot of people with clear skin online people don't really display like their skin when it's broken out and my skin is usually like always broken out but the Lord keeps speaking to me about you know there's a reason why you know I'm allowing this acne to go on you know how long it's been going on it won't always be this way and you will have your dream skin but I want you to speak out more about it and make my daughters out here and your sisters more comfortable and feel more beautiful even with their acne <sighs> so I definitely want to go ahead and start talking about acne way more we are no less than any other woman because we break out and because we have acne prone skin it will get better one day um things don't last forever trouble don't last always I do encourage you guys to pray about your skin as well I prayed about mine and I'll say this because when you pray and it doesn't happen instantly some things take years to happen because he wants it to happen at the right time I love my hair some things take more times than others some prayers are answered a lot more quick but when you pray about something and things aren't happening these demons will try to put in your ear that he don't care he ain't listening to your prayers he ain't worried about you know how this is making you feel and they use it as an opportunity to hinder your faith and I'm not gonna allow that to happen I know the Lord Jesus Christ loves me and I've cried out to him many a times about my acne and my my um skin has improved so much because my main thing when I first started tanning if you're new to my channel I'm sure you guys can tell that on my previous videos I looked like a oompa loompa I had a tanning addiction it started when I was 15 years old because of my acne my acne on my forehead was like extremely like crazy and I have a sibling that has a tanning addiction and like just straight up I've said it before like she really made me feel ugly growing up like she made me feel like I was so ugly like she used to comment on my chicken lips my white girl hair a lot of different things and she's made comments on my acne and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of like look like her in a way so I showed us this hand and it did make me feel more secure with my acne um, and it helped my acne just a little bit not by much but anyway after that it became an addiction and I felt like without my tan I was ugly and it also became you know really bad because I wanted to be darker and darker and darker and darker and darker I've always been like pretty like insecure about being like light even though I'm mixed you know what I mean so like hanging out with other mixed kids I feel like kids with the african-american mom and the caucasian dad come out lighter than the kids with the african-american dad with the um caucasian mom so girl I'm light bright and I never wanted to be light bright I wanted to be a darker girl because I want people to know I'm mixed okay my mindset growing up okay so yeah tanning a lot of reasons why I did it but eventually it became an addiction and I was using tanning beds and stand-up beds and stuff like that eventually it became an addiction and it began to age my skin tremendously and I began to look like I was not 18 like I looked so old my skin was starting to have wrinkles and fine lines I had melasma on my cheeks sunspots and when I tell y'all that is like literally all gone like I look my age I just have acne that's literally all gone like all the aging is gone the melasma is gone so one of the dermatologists and using peels and getting chemical peels has really helped with the aging of my skin so I'm very happy about that um but it just sucks sometimes that my skin still be breaking out you know and I've had some really like encouraging things said to me I've even had a girl be like girl first of all I ain't about to be 30 so it's more embarrassing for me that it is for you babe like you are so beautiful she was like and you're literally a teenager and even if you weren't like who cares but you're literally a teenager you're in your young years and mine's was worse at your age like it will go away or it'll get better you know she was like because it's embarrassing for me because girl I'm about to be 30 and I'm, I still have acne she was like you're so young like it's really not that serious I'm like yeah but there's girls my age I got that she was like okay and we got to talking more and more and more and it was just like really cool and like inspiring and of course my family always hypes me up my mom was like you're just so freaking beautiful like acne don't even touch you and then you got Jordan I couldn't express to him how I feel sometimes and 
They're just all like, man, I just wish you could see what I see. And every single time I see somebody with acne, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Like they be pulling off their acne, but I don't feel that way by myself. Girl, no, like, oh my gosh. But brushing or brushing, raking, I don't know. My hands through my hair right now feel so amazing. Those clipped ends got my hair feeling so healthy. Oh my gosh. So basically what I'm using in my hair today, I diluted this so this has water in it. It's conditioning hair mist by Pantene. Um, a little bit of the Olaplex Bond Smoother. This is the new bottle, this is the old bottle, but it's the same exact thing. I'm using some Bond Smoother mixed with some affordable Kim Kimball Healing Leave-In Conditioner. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner for my hair. Um, it's by Kim Kimball. She is a celebrity hairstylist and you can buy this at Walmart. It's so good, you guys. It smells so nice too. So yeah, I want to go ahead and just start speaking on it, you know, a lot more because it's a struggle when you have acne and you don't want to look people in the eyes and, you know, you have days where your acne is worse than others. And especially for me, since I show up on camera and I don't wear makeup, um, I refuse to cover up my skin because my skin is what it is. But I also know that I used to wear makeup, y'all. I used to wear makeup and then and it started to affect me really bad so when i was younger that's how i know i've always been a smart girl um i had started wearing like concealer and mascara and eyeshadow every single day and i would get up every single day and do my makeup and then when i would take it off i would feel so insecure and i did not like that so makeup ain't for everybody and makeup's not for me only because when i take it off i don't know how to be secure while taking it off like i don't know how to be like girl i'm fire i'm more of like a, i can't wait to get to the next session of me doing this makeup okay so i didn't know how to be confident without the makeup so i had to stop the makeup because that was not good and it's not a good cycle for me, you know? And it just became a cycle and it just wasn't good for me and my mental health and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope I put the right amount of product in here because sometimes I'll be talking too much on camera and my hair turns out crazy because I talk too much on camera. But I'm so excited about my hair. I'm so excited to see it shrink. This is a little bit too long for me right now. So I cannot wait to see it shrink. Ay, why was I listening to this girl? And she was like, dude, I wanna cut my hair. She was like, but I just feel like all the girls that hate on me, they'll be happy if I cut my hair. But I know I'm gonna look cute. She was like, but I just don't, I don't want them to be happy that I cut my hair. I'm like, girl, I feel the same way, but we popping, so. We popping. Hey, we popping. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so excited about today, you guys. I'm about to go ahead and get some pancheros. Pancheros, I love pancheros. Pancheros is like a Mexican grill or whatever. I wouldn't say it's authentic. It's kind of like a Chipotle. And please, y'all do not cancel me for saying this, but I do not like Chipotle. Chipotle is disgusting. And I remember like everybody loving Chipotle. I'm putting in my hair perfume. Everybody loving Chipotle and like me wanting to go so bad. And my mom was like, girl, that junk is nasty. I'm like, oh. My mom was like, it's not even good. I'm like, how do you even know? She was like, well, your dad and I went. They went, I guess, um, with some of their church friends after church. And my dad bought all this dang food. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is disgusting. And I guess she was upset because it was so gross. And she was like, yeah, like we were not a fan of that junk. I was like, okay, but I didn't care. So I was like, let's go to Chipotle one day. So my brother and my mom and I, we all went to Chipotle and we got some food. We got back home. It was nasty. Okay. So I tried it again recently. <laughs> now, and it gave me heartburn and like burning number two. Girl, no. All right, girl. I'm gonna go ahead, put on my perfume, and we are headed out the door. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my um, jewelry as well, y'all. My other chain broke, so I'm waiting for my mom to send me the link. She hasn't sent it to me yet. I gotta remind her, but send me the link of the gold chain she bought me so I can go ahead and buy myself a new one and put the pendant back on or whatever because I love my little layered necklaces. But when I tell y'all this bright crystal is so beautiful, I have a brand new bottle in my office. I love this junk so much. But anyway, girl, perfume. I'm about to put on my jewelry and girl, we are headed to Panchepro's. I got some good bowls. My favorite thing from them is like a steak bowl. So we'll see what I get in it today, but let's get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Ow, you got me. I'm sorry. You just pinched me. I'm sorry. Can you pull my tongue up? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Teeth white. How you doing today? <laughs> Dude, I'm doing great. How are how you? How you doing today, babe? How are you? I'm great. That's the real question. That's good. We no, the time. real question is how are we? Yeah. <laughs> We're great. We're great. I will say, real quick before anything, whenever we had both first got into this vehicle, Okay. The amount of smell goodness that came from you that's just like radiating <laughs> is crazy. Like you smell amazing. Thank you. You really do. Thank you so much. Now, are you using like a bunch of different stuff? Because I know you bought some like new body oils. Body oils. Okay. So I have on like a Versace Bright Crystal. I'm sure you know that scent. Yeah. I have on the lotion with the fragrance oil. Like I mix those two. Yeah. 
and then I have on some hair perfume in that fragrance and then I have on the actual bright crystal spray and then I added a little bit of Idole by Lancome so that has to be up on the screen because I never told them but I have a little bit of that on as well those mix together very beautifully so I have I mean, all of that on I see the thing is like I've never heard of anybody like mixing fragrances and stuff like that until you I've and gotten that a lot it makes everything smell so much better thank you like, you know what you're mixing too yeah cuz like first of all my mom has always mixed her fragrances so okay. I think that was the maintenance man but um first of all my mom always mixes her fragrances so she really put me onto that but then at the same exact time I got to learn, you know, what mix is good, and I just got like a smell, like a nose for it. Like I can right. tell what's gonna go great together. But at the same exact time, I know that it makes my perfumes last longer because you use less in the bottles, right. and then nobody's gonna smell like you. That is real. Hey, that's smart. That's cool. That's so freaking cool. Especially that you already know you've experienced and experimented with multiple different stuff. So mm -hmm. you already know what's those best. Right. And exactly. I so. smell it on you every time. You smell so Thank good. Thank you. Thank you, thank so you. Hey, hey, hey. It's so refreshing having somebody that always constantly smells good around. Well, especially, really if there's a, that. especially if there's a smell out. Right? All I gotta do is walk behind you and not He's smell He's done that so many times where there's like a funny smell out in public and he's like, well, at least I got you to smell. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's so crazy that you say that because we were at McDonald's playing in the play place when we were younger and my older brother, Xavier, we were playing around, blah, blah, blah. Brent was playing with some other kids and some girl pooped on herself. Like Whoa. literally pooping herself and her mom like wouldn't do anything about it. She just kept it on her So she's playing in the play place and it stinks so bad and I had on moonlight path I remember because my mom used to give me all of her old body sprays and I had on moonlight path And I remember this particular day I wanted to put on way more but we were like we had to get out and I remember being like I wanted to put on way more I don't feel like I smell good enough Like I've been trying to smell good since I was little and my brother was like well at least you smell good Like at least I can smell your perfume like that's the only good thing I'm smelling right now and we were little dude I was probably like seven eight and um, yeah, you know Xavier I believe we're a year and a half apart so anyway y'all story time oh my gosh the fact that that's so nasty you just left boo boo sitting on her like that what <laughs> no because seriously and then like the mom was getting offended that all the kids were like ew like what's what? that smell and i'm like you're still sitting there though like then my mom took us and we left but yeah i was like wow okay and then like we were in the movies one time i'm not sure why i put these two stories together we were in the movies <laughs> one time and this lady, she let her son kick my mom's seat the whole entire time. Oh. So my mom finally is like, hey, like, can you not let your son kick my seat? She's like, got attitude. He keeps kicking it. My mom says, hey, can you stop letting your son kick my seat? He keeps kicking it. So my mom goes to the front desk and she follows my mom. Think she about to like argue or something. What? My mom goes to the front desk and they're like, oh no, you're totally in the wrong. Absolutely not. She's here for comfort. So please just let us know if anything else happens and she will be taken right out the movie theater. And she was like, ah. I'm like, baby, ain't no privilege here. Hallelujah. What? You thought you were entitled enough to like go follow get my some mom. sort of stuff like that. I remember being scared my mom was gonna beat it down on the ground. Mm. It's been a couple times I'm like, please stop, cause my mom will really hurt you. Like, please just stop. Like, stop talking. I'm doing this for you. Not Literally, <laughs> I be worried about the person. Like, I'm not worried about my mom. I'm worried about the person. Like, I be like, stop. And you gonna follow my mom? Like, what do you think? Like, do you think just because she's being kind, she ain't gonna get there? Cause mm. he'll anyway. be taking a lot of that kindness for granted. Facts. Pancheros. We are here at Pancheros. Did we get a spot? Oh no, we didn't get a parking spot. Oh my gosh. Mm. Now I got a bag. Where are we gonna park, babe? It's like we're not coming here. <laughs> Shut the heck up. <laughs> Ooh, a parking spot opened up. So there's Pancheros. Yes, ma'am. We about to eat. I'm about to give me a steak bowl, babe. See, I don't eat Pancheros that much, so I might have to get the same thing. Oh my gosh, you didn't get it last time. Mm -mm. No, so I don't know how it because tastes. why do you be doing that? I don't be hungry. For my brother's birthday, he wanted to go to like three different restaurants. So one of the places that he wanted to go was Pancheros, and I wanted to go too. So we got to Pancheros, and Jordan didn't get anything. He's like, I'm not hungry. So I go back later on to get another bowl because I got hungry again, and he doesn't get anything again. You about to get some this time? No, not saying yeah. Can't yes. back it up, bro. Can't be your homie. If you ain't about to eat, then back up both me. You got some lotion? Wait. My hands is crisp. Do I have lotion? Oh my gosh, imagine you not having lotion. Dude, I don't think I have it. Wait, I do. I'm glad y'all can't see from like all the way back. Ah, 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 my mom. My mom's the reason why I have it. So my really? mom bought me hand creams. She found Into the Night hand creams on the Bath & Body Works website. So she got me some hand creams. Ooh, thank you. Go ahead you. and put some of that on, baby. 
Huh. Y'all, I'm drinking my liquid IV. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bag that I use, but I put tangerine liquid IV immune support water booster in my water every single day. I drink one of these. Oh my gosh, y'all, stay hydrated. This really boosts your hydration. And ah, it's so good. It has electrolytes, it's so good. Tastes good, it's good for you. It's refreshing, it spices up your water. Boop, 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 boop. But y'all, we're gonna be right back. Oh, you smell good. We're gonna be right Thank back. You. Go grab our food, come back, eat like a mukbang. Look, muk, 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 like muk, a mukbang. Muk, 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 I still don't know how to say it. Mukbang, mukbang. I hear people say it all types of ways. Dude. Tell me why you know how much my nephew loves chicken. He can make a he can make a song out of chicken anytime. So my mom had da, 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 playing last night, right? Uh -huh. And he was like, chicken fillet, oh my <laughs> chicken fillet. And when I tell you that boy voice, he can sing. It's weird. Really? Yeah, like he can sing. He hit notes. He hits notes. It's not weird, but it's so good. Yeah, that's actually. Dope. I'd be wording stuff wrong, y'all. I'd be like, this junk. I do it too. I do it too. She knows. Sometimes I'll word something a certain way and mean it a complete different way. My coat's not going on. My Apple Watch is stopping it. But yeah, that is true. I'd be like, what you talking about, boy? What you want to do? <laughs> she be jumping. <laughs> don't say that. I'm just playing. No, she don't. People already think I'm abusing you. They thought nah. the same thing about my brother. Ain't that wild? That like people be thinking that because I act the way I act that I be abusing people. Like I'm, I be making a joke out of it. One time I was like, turn off the camera so I can abuse you to Brent. Like it's funny to me. I remember that. And he was that like, y'all just don't get the dynamic. Like y'all don't understand it. Like, uh uh. It makes relationships spicy. It does, but my Fun. mom, I was talking to my brother the other day and she was looking at me cracking up because when we get together, we're like, man, man, man. And we were going back and forth, right? And she was like, man, you know, it's you. Like, it's Chloe. Like, Chloe has been Chloe since she was a baby. Since she came out the womb, my girl's been spicy. Like, she's so snap at it. Don't play. Ain't gonna play. Ain't gonna do it. So that's my girl. I mean, that's my daughter. Like, she's never not been this way. And my brothers know it too. Like, Chloe has never not been this way. Cheros! I'll be back, y'all, with my beautiful coach bag my mama bought me. I'm gonna replace coat I bought last year. Looking cute. Dude. I went somewhere with my mom and I had to open up my own door and I was so confused. Like it did not feel right, me opening up my own door. <laughs> I haven't opened up my own door in so freaking long unless I'm actually driving and I never really drive. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm so far. <laughs> when I tell y'all the Lord has been showing me in all kinds of ways that he got me and like <laughs> the love has been so crazy. I know that was Jesus. I don't mm. believe in all the coincidence stuff. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I tell y'all this man just gave us all of this food for free. So first I was like, just one water bottle. And he was like, it's okay. I was like, what? You about to give me some free water? Okay, cool. And then he was like, here's your receipt. You have a nice day. I'm like, you're okay, go. I'm like, no freaking way, y'all. <laughs> tell me why he just gave us all of this food for free. All the food? All the food. I thought it was just the water. All the food for free he gave us. Everything he gave us for free. Wait a minute. What do you mean? He gave us all of this for free. I didn't know the food. I thought it was just the water. All what? for free. Swear to gosh, no freaking lie. Swear to gosh, he gave it to us for free. Swear to gosh, I did not swipe my card. Swear to gosh, he didn't swipe my card. Swear to gosh. Swear to gosh, he gave us all that food for free. Like, what? Why? That definitely is the Lord because what? Like, I'm, I'm composing myself because it's just like, I thought it was just the water. What the heck? Stop playing. What the heck? Because this... I don't have words. I'm sorry. I really don't. That's really generous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus is so good. I swear to gosh. Like, he really takes good care of us. Like, he really takes good care of us. Like, he loves his children. Like, oh my so gosh. Much. I was going to treat you to some Pancheros wow. and he said, nope. I got it. He gonna treat us to some pancheros. He treat us to some pancheros. Okay, so Lord Jesus, please bless him. Yes. And Lord, look out for him. Become his Lord and Savior if you are not already. And he's just amazing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. Wow, such a nice guy. Wow. We need more people like that out here. Now, I'm not just saying more people to give out free food. <laughs> what I'm saying is yeah, we do. more <laughs> generous people. <laughs> for real. Ah! That is so amazing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if y'all don't know, whenever I don't know what to get, I just be like, okay, I'm gonna just mirror what you get. Cause yeah, because every, let me, no, tell them the I had baby. to learn, I had to learn. Yeah. It's a shame you had to learn the hard way. That junk dripping, dripping. What? Um, listen, every single time we order food, he orders what he wants and I always order what I want, but every single time he gets something, it's never as good as mine and he always wants my food. Not like true. I be having to give him bites of my food because he be screwing up. So we got a large tortilla with a steak bowl. What do we got in the steak bowl, babe? We got rice, black beans, green salsa, extra guac, sour cream, and we got a little bit of cheese. And I'm pretty sure that's everything. 
that is definitely everything this looks really good i don't try to put too much good i don't try to put like too too much like in my meal only because it'll become sloppy mm. and i'm a texture person then you're really eating lunch lady food and it's just slop Facts. <laughs> Boy, Jesus and pay for our meal. Yes, thank you, Lord. The oh Lord is goodness. so good. Mukbang. You gonna take a picture of your food when you don't take a picture of mine? Is it already watch your food? Oh, hold your food up so I get a picture. Lunch date. Lunch date. That's the freaking perks of being kind as well. And why, I, man, why would we, we be going out? We get compliments um, as a couple. We do. Like, it was random. Like, one time we were in Family Dollar with my niece, and he was like, man, we need more couples like y'all, man. We need more couples like y'all. I'm like, huh? Yeah, I'm like, what does that mean? I didn't know, because we weren't even, like, holding, like, a conversation or nothing much. We were just in line waiting for stuff, and he was like, man, y'all keep doing y'all, man. We need more couples like y'all. I'm like, did you watch our channel or something? I don't know. I have no idea. I was like, dude, you dope though. I love it. Yeah, he's cool though, because I've been there before and he tried his hardest to help me find like a an extender there. The extension cord? Yeah. Uh, he was trying to help me. I really needed it that day. Yeah, you did. Did I get it? Yes, uh. Mm, it's so good in those tortilla. I, I break pieces off. Okay. And this is a little baby piece. And mm -hmm. I put some in there, a little bit of everything, and I eat it in like little baby tacos. Like okay. little baby burritos. Oh, let me do that. I'm gonna get some um some trays so we can set our food on it. So y'all can see our food. Let me do eating in the car. Mukbangs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. This is fire. So I was really missing out those other two times. Really missing out. No, because baby, this is so good. Like, <laughs> you can't tell me it's, it's not better than Chipotle. Have you ever had Chipotle? Uh uh. Oh. What's better? I'll say it's a flex not having Chipotle. You say it's a flex? Because whenever. I'll say so too. Because whenever I saw what you got, because I've seen you get it like, what, two other occasions? On two other occasions, you got. Two other occasions, yep and you didn't like it both times. Mm -hmm. And I would much rather take this deliciousness over that. Bland. Yes, that's one of the main things you said. It was bland. It's not good meat. The spiciness of it was way too high. It made me get heartburn, and I rarely ever get heartburn. Mm -hmm. Never do I get heartburn like that. It made my number two burn so bad. Red number two. We're gonna start talking about it because we eat now. <laughs> right. There are certain types of foods where you'll set it in front of you, you'll start eating, and then you'll get happy. Yes. Now, I'm already happy enough because the Lord is working today. Amen! But, like, on top of it, when you actually are sitting here eating it, and I'm here with my baby. Aww. Oh my, it smells good in here. I'm eating good food. Mm. The Lord is working. Amen! <laughs> like, Everything is coming together. Yes. Everything is coming together right now, y'all. Life is really looking up. Oh yeah, so after we leave here, we're gonna go to Walmart and I have to pick up a couple household items because I'm out of my plugins. I have one more plugin left. I'm out of my plugins. I need like household smell goods. Like I need, I don't need no candles because I just got done shopping on Bath and Body Works getting all kind of candles. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the new candles that I bought. But I gotta get like plugins and I have to make a big purchase today, you guys. I have to buy a new mop because my old cedar mop broke. And I have to buy a new vacuum because my vacuum is like broken like it's not like completely broken it still sucks some things up but it's not like powerful how it used to so it's not getting everything off my carpet and i don't like the dirty carpet thing i have a dog and i drop stuff like no so i have to get carpet powder as well for my carpet to smell good i just have to get some things for the house y'all from walmart and then him and i are gonna go home and he's gonna help me straighten out my crib it ain't nothing like a clean crib there we go it ain't nothing like somebody helping you too like i don't you know i don't want to say i don't accept help easily i just feel like i'm being lazy and i'm not being independent when i don't do everything by myself but in the end, and even while doing it, it's, it's better. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'll be stubborn. You've definitely gotten better at that as well, though. Like, you've actually started letting me help you more. Mm hmm. You like the tortilla? Yeah, I do. I've been using, doing it the whole time as well. The tortilla trick is so good, y'all. You just take a little bit of your bowl mm -hmm. and you put it in it. Alone, the tortilla is good, too. Panchero's is better than Chipotle. Argue down below. I only had like a couple things from them. I had a steak burrito, steak bowl, steak tacos. I forgot about the other time I had it. I totally forgot about the first time I had it. When did I get it the first time? I ordered it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I ordered it. Remember I ordered it? That was a while ago. Yeah, huh? that was a while yeah. ago. And then we ended up going somewhere that day. And I came back and ate the rest of it, but I didn't really enjoy it. You did not want to waste your money. Mm mm. This guac is so good. It ain't my guac. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Man, I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you one-on-one -on -one and my mom one-on-one -on -one and then we're all out. Because when my mom and I get going, we're hanging out, we're having a good time. You and I as well. And then I need to start spending more one-on-one -on -one time with my little brother. Um, but I'm usually with him and my mom. So we're like a group. And then we're all four together. It's like, bro, we can't, we're unstoppable. Literally. I was looking back on my birthday vlog and I was like, bro, we were having such a good time. Like, I want to go out of him. My brother and my mom, let me know what you want to do. We need to go out and have like a family day, arcade, bowling, out to eat. We can go shopping too. Do it all in one day. I love spending time with you and your family. He fits right in. I love them all. Mm, I really do. You're cute. I really do. Let me know when you're done. Because I'm going to go ahead and save the rest for um, later. Because I'm going to smash it. My favorite part of the day is getting done with everything. And I get to lay in my bed and watch shows. So once again, 
whoever gave us this free food, I just want to go ahead and say God bless you because what you did was so amazing. And I know the Lord just got done using you. So I'm grateful and he was so freaking cool. I pray that your day goes amazing and I pray the rest of your days go amazing. I hope whatever that may be going wrong or may not be the best right now, I hope it all. Well, I hope the sun shines in those areas very soon and it will in Jesus name. This will be my last bite right here and then we can head on the I'm road. I'm not rushing you. Okay. I'm not rushing you, you can eat your food. Then I'm gonna eat it all. All of it? Okay, maybe I'm rushing you. Cause you ain't barely touched it. Hey, <laughs> girl, it's almost gone. Boy, it ain't. <laughs> Or maybe I want this one because this is a cordless stick vacuum. It's a but lot it's, more money, it's, yeah. but it can run for 40 minutes without, you know, being charged or whatever. I think I'm going to get that because sure. that stuff is too heavy for me and all the cords and stuff. This is super light. Y'all know I'm not that strong. Like, I admit that. Like, I literally lost all my strength when I used to be, like, angry and upset, girl. Anyway, um, I gained wisdom and lost strength. Hey, there not you go. Not strength, like, spiritually, but, like, strength physically. Anyway. Before she pushed me and I flew from aisle to aisle. <laughs> oh, my God. So freaking dope. I'm getting this one. It's 129, but I feel like it's way better. It lays flat. It gets the hard to see debris. Yeah, this is dope. I'm getting this. <laughs> that was funny. What? Don't not it gets funny. The, uh, the hard to see it debris. It does. I'm getting this. You know what's good when it has an alarm on it. It does. Oh. You know what's good because it has a security oh, right. alarm. I didn't even do that is true. Okay. okay. Perfect. <laughs> Alright girl, we got a new vacuum. I'm excited because that one's not going to get like, I don't believe it's going to get broken and I'm not going to have to replace it for a long time. So the cheap ones they break and stuff like that. So we're going to get this one. This is super dope. I've been wanting one too because my mom has one and they have it. One of these ones? No, yeah, this one. My mom has this. This is so good. Oh, thank you. My bad. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot that. You're so responsible. Oh my gosh. I never do that. I just left my phone there. I left my phone on the um, shelf, y'all, and he picked it up for me. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. When I get like super anxious, mad, or excited, I get overheated. So let me take off my coat. Matter of fact, I just take it off. Let's get your fit. My fit? Yeah. You want to show my outfit? It's not cute. Yes, it is. It's not. My, my pants shrunk. I bought these cute pants from Target, y'all. And I have the matching um, top to it, but they shrunk and I look like high waters. I like them, I really do. Anyways, I gotta get a mop and then wax melts, plugins, carpet powder, laundry products, and paper towel, and I'm good. And my Neutrogena moisturizer. Also, your hair is so cute. My hair? This is gonna be a hefty bill, y'all. When I tell y'all this junk, $34.98. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was a hundred and some dollars. Something feel loose up in here. Ooh, it's sound mm, broke. It's think, sound broke. Yeah, I think we should go for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had these break on me twice, so I really hope this one does not break on me. Oh, oh my gosh, twice, so you got experience. Dang, I think you just broke that one. I did. Don't say that. I'm just playing. No, it's not broken in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen, amen. All right, so what else did I need? Some plug-ins. These are my current plug-ins, and I really love these. I'm thinking about getting some more of these because they're really strong, and they're really refreshing, and they smell so good. So I might get another pack of those, but at the same time... Oh, what's this? Let me scratch this and sniff this. Okay, I think I like these. This smells so good, and I've never tried them before. But I have so many plug-ins in my house that I would have to get two packs of the five. Perfect, they have them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get 10 plug-in packs. I don't have 10 plug-ins in my apartment, but I do have like a lot of plug-ins. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two. You still got extras in your drawers. I only have one extra, don't oh. even play. Okay, then I'm guessing. I replace them all the time. Anyways, and then I need some wax melts. And the strongest wax melts are the Gain or the Unstoppable by Febreze. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of each. These Unstoppables are so amazing, y'all. They smell so good. And then these Gain ones are just extremely strong and these are really good as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two wax melts. Gotta have them. 
them. And this wax warmer is so good. I have a new one, but this one's really nice and it lights up and everything. It's super dope. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and grab these two wax melts. Then I needed, I'm going to look around a little bit because I always find cool stuff. Oh, I wanted some fabric sanitizer for the couch. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and find that, but I need some carpet powder. Should I get clean linen or Hawaiian breeze or one of each? One of each. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna grab some clean linen because these do go by pretty fast and they make your carpet and your home smell so amazing. I said fabric sanitizer right here antibacterial laundry refresher, antibacterial fabric spray, fabric sanitizer. This one's cheaper, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one because with Lock It, like I let her get on my couch nowadays, y'all. I ain't got time to be sitting up. Get down, get down, get down. She's stubborn and I just accept it. So <laughs> she's not gonna stop getting up on my couch. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and disinfect it and call her today. What else did I need? Where are the fall night long plugins? The fall night long smells so good. They gotta make plugins in it. They have to have them. Like, what the heck? This spray smells so good. Glade sprays don't last very long in the air, but for some reason, the fall night long does. Yes, ma'am. And um, since I have the plugins and tropical or exotic tropical blossoms. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spray of that as well. <gasps> What'd you just find? Cause I heard that gas was crazy. They have them. Hey. Fall night long oh. plugins. They have them. So now I really have to make a decision. How'd you see that? I just seen them <laughs> with my own two eyes. But I really like the smell of these too. Maybe I'll just get all of them. Cause these are nice. They go by pretty fast. So I'll just buy all these packets because they do go by that fast. With the laundry products, since we spent so much money on this stuff, we don't have to budget with the laundry products like I've been doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this extra OxyClean detergent because it's pretty affordable. Okay, mm -hmm. so Suave this big old bottle is only $7.97. And then Walmart also has a knockoff of Gain, which also smells amazing. This knockoff Gain, when I tell y'all, this stuff is just as strong as Gain. This Ultimate Fresh by Walmart. Oh my gosh. Which one am I gonna get? Because this smells so nice too. It'd be the actual store brand stuff sometimes. It'd be the best stuff. But I think Suavitel is still cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Suavitel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're both very strong, but they're both very affordable. They are so freaking mm -hmm. good, you guys. So I have that. I need paper towel and then my moisturizer. And we're good to go. Ooh. I think this is like the knockoff bounty. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Great Value knockoff bounty. <laughs> It looks big body. These are the paper towels we picked, y'all. All right. What y'all doing back here? Come on. And last but not least, this is my favorite moisturizer. It's lightweight, but it's also very moisturizing. And this was suggested by my dermatologist. So this is the junk, y'all. And I always get the extra dry one because my skin, like, it can get very, very, very dry. But it can also get very oily. But this is the one that he suggested to me while using drying products. All right. Thank you so much for your help. Now You're we welcome. can go home and get to cleaning or we can get back to my house and we can get to cleaning. I'm excited to clean. I'm excited too.
vacuum is so powerful and it works so good i'm not too good at like getting the vacuum streaks like perfect but it just died on me and i'm so upset because we were charging it or whatever i'm not really sure how the whole charging thing works but what were you saying it was because i want to go ahead and vacuum my carpet in here and also my hardwood floor because i'm not gonna mop today i'm not doing like any deep cleaning i just wanted to go ahead and straighten up so what is the issue right now it said that the battery voltage was too high whenever i looked it up because it was like a flashing red button and to fix that the only solution i know is to just like keep on trying different ones and see different what? One, uh, outlets to see what, like which one is perfect for it but i'm gonna plug it back in it did say online that you could like run out the battery and then charge it again well the batteries run out so we can charge it again and now we can see that doesn't make sense happen. though because it has far four bore <laughs> <laughs> Four but bars that it could go up to. It still says and it has one more charge too. It says that four bars that it can go up to, right? And it was at two. So in total, it can last for 40 minutes. So I would say half of that would be 20, but it just had half of that and it didn't even last for five minutes. I don't know, that's weird. So it now we basically have to wait for this to charge so we can get the rest of our work done. Basically, cause all we need to do now is just get the rest of that vacuum get the hardwood floor vacuumed and spray some concentrated room spray and my home is done y'all i'm gonna go ahead and do some deep cleaning soon but not today <laughs> but shoot girl i guess while we're waiting i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys all of my brand new candles from bath and body works i cannot wait to go ahead and get this dang home all perfect and cleaned up because this gotta go those gotta go back in the room all of my shoes got to get put away. Those are the shoes that I'm wearing to vacuum because they have powder on them. And then those ones are my regular house shoes. That rug goes back over there when I get done vacuuming. I'm going to go ahead and eat that food so it's like less clutter or whatever. Get my water bottle out the way. The kitchen is looking pretty darn amazing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's just the floors got to go ahead and get all swept up by the vacuum. I really want to try that on my hardware floors. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a Bath & Body Works candle haul, girl. Because we got a little bit of everything. Yes, ma'am. So I have had this box sitting in my living room for the longest because I was not going to open up any of them or burn any of them without showing y'all first. Okay, so they recently had like a candle sale online. I got the email. I went online, bought eight candles, y'all. Let's go ahead and hop into this haul. So I went ahead and bought some male candles because I love the smell of their colognes. So first things first, I'm not a very big fan of men men's cologne because they're always super overpowering and like not a good overpowering. It's an overpowering like you get a migraine and headache. I'm not a big fan of cologne. Never really have been. It has to be like a very crispy light cologne like Bath & Body Works. They have very nice light cologne. So I went ahead and bought some of their like cologne candles. First ones first. First one first. Girl, I don't know. Fresh water. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all this fresh water candle smells absolutely amazing. It is literally so fresh. Didn't even know it was going to smell that good, but girl, it smells that good. Okay. And I love Bath & Body Works candles because their candles really light your house up. Not like that, but like they light your house up with some noise fragrance, some noise <laughs> scent. They make your house smell so powerful. Yes, ma'am. I don't think I've ever had this candle, but I have always wanted it because of how pretty like Whoa. it is. That is so nice. So nice. So it is A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works. Ooh, my really? gosh. And I love that as a fragrance, period. But mm. as a candle. I really like that, too. A Thousand Wishes? A Thousand Wishes. I have to get a thousand candles. Facts. This is a very, like, sweet kind of candle. Like, sweet, girly, fruity kind of candle. The fresh water one is very, like, air, crisp, water, fresh, breezy. Next is going to be Ocean. So this is a men's fragrance as well. So they really have like men's fragrances for candles? For candles. Because guys need to be burning their candles too. Right. Okay. I like that. It's more light than the fresh water, but it's very nice. Mm, it is. It's very nice, y'all. I'm getting my lashes done in a day or two. I'm not really sure, y'all. Just got done confirming my appointment. Mm -mm, cannot wait. Okay, I believe this one is peach bellini. No, it's not. It's pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, I'm not a big fan of all that pumpkin pecan syrup maple, but <laughs> for the fall time, candle-wise, I will do it it because when it's cold and you want to come into your warm home and it smells like this oh my gosh that's so relaxing so relaxing yes. it just gives me such warm comforting vibe so this is the pumpkin pecan waffles candle this smells fire y'all i love poppy by bath and body works i love the body spray sometimes when you burn a candle it can smell totally different so i'm hoping this does not smell different but poppy by bath and body works yes ma'am yes ma'am fresh and like a sweet floral it's so beautiful i'm sure you've smelled that on me before yes i have mm -hmm. and i really like the packaging as well me too it's really nice 
Thank you. I thought you was gonna open it for me. I didn't. I didn't know if you wanted to open them on there or not. That's all right. This is graphite by Bath and Body Works. It's a male's um, cologne as well. So I got the three cologne ones. So this is it. The last male candle. This one's dope looking. Look at that. It is. I love that fading. Ooh. Look. Mmm, that's nice. That smells looky like something that I used before, like a Yeah, cologne. it does. I think you might have had this before. I think Wait, you might yes, have. Wait, yes, I did. Yes, I did have graphite. It's gonna look so good up there. Graphite, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. That packaging is fire. Okay, next, and I think I have one more after this one. I'm so excited about this one. Right, let's wait for the last one. No. Let's make that the last one, huh? No, 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 you got one more. Okay. Here. Yoink. What is this one? Caramel pumpkin swirl. Okay, so I got two like caramel pumpkin type of candles and then I bought three male candles, two of their like actual fragrances and like body spray. Uh -huh. And then this one is their newest fragrance, Two Bath and Body Works, one of their newest. So I'm super excited to go ahead and try that out. Ooh, that top. This one's like too syrupy for me. Is it? Yeah, hopefully when I burn it, it's not so bad, but that smells like uh -huh. oatmeal and syrup and maple. Yeah. Caramel pumpkin swirl. Mm -mm. Lord knows. Last but not least, is that the last but not least? It so sure is. It is. Are you sure? Yes. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Oh, just I was kidding. about to say, did I miss something? Ooh. So yeah, I do actually want to go buy the body spray. I think they have a body spray in this. I'm I love so amber. Sure. No, it doesn't smell like that. He said it smells similar to one of these. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Oh, I feel like I smelled like something similar. Your nose know, hair just holding on to. Yeah, I think so. Honestly. It's very faint and light. But I would wear this on my body. Like, it's a beautiful vanilla amber. I gotta, like, learn the lingo because whenever you be saying stuff, I wanna know what you're saying. You ain't the only one. When I tell <laughs> you, I'm not really good at describing fragrances. Sometimes I look up the notes or whatever, or sometimes I just know kind of, like, spot on. But me too, because I can't really describe a fragrance for the life of me. That Like, you couldn't really, you didn't really see me, like, describe any of these for real because I don't really be knowing, like, how to explain things. Like, how do I explain what the heck is in here? Gourmand notes of coffee <laughs> yeah. and fresh notes of jasmine. Like I don't, I just yeah. go by what I feel it smells like and I just say it and then it is what okay. it is. But I don't get into all the little scientific boom, 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 boom. Cause it be sound like you know a lot about the perfumes and you be telling me about like what's inside your favorite ones. Mm -hmm. You tell me certain ones that you like the most. Yeah. Like musk, white musk. White, white. musk mm -hmm. and musk are like my favorite notes in perfume. Some of my favorite notes in perfume. Um, jasmine is a really, really good one. It really depends because some rose can smell so good and then another rose can smell so bad. Some mm. patchouli can smell real good and some patchouli can smell real bad. Some vanilla can smell cheap. Some vanilla can smell exquisite and expensive. So it really depends because I've smelled a variety, like aversions of a certain fragrance or a certain right. note that people say is good or that I feel is good. But then I smell it nasty. Uh, I don't that know. ever ruin it for you? Like, no, because uh, if no. I like a fragrance, I like a fragrance. Okay, I got you. Okay, <laughs> okay. now. Because I know sometimes I try to explain something and then it's really not good. But anyway, y'all liking the hair? Because I do. It's so cute. I should have put it my is. moisturizer on this side. I put more on this side than this side. So it's a little bit frizzy in the back right here, but I'll make sure not to do that no more. Like I mentioned earlier, this side is less moisturized than this side. But if you guys want more volume and you're a curly girl, go ahead. Put your head down. Shake your hair. I suggest having no rings because they will like snatch some of your curls. And then you have way more value. Once again, I put way more product in this side than this side. So next time I have to make sure I do the same amount, but cute. I'm well, hopefully I'll make sure. Look. It's so cute. It's very cute. Ooh. I love it. It's really cute. Curls, who this? <laughs> I'm waiting for this dang vacuum to get done. I'm seeing this video right here that I need to watch real quick. And what I looked up, it's saying that the battery could be dead. So that's why it's not charging because it's just blinking. That's supposed to say that it's like testing. It's blinking red, which is saying that it's I thought testing. it was blinking green. That's supposed to be charging, but it's not blinking green. It's blinking red. What does blinking red mean again? It could possibly be a dead battery, but other stuff is saying that it could be like a high voltage outlet and like the batteries. Either way, the battery is messed up. You know, so we have to go back to the store? Either that or I can see this video right here. I'm seeing the comments. People are saying it saved me from returning it. Um, I can look into this right now. If not, then I'll have to bring it back over there because the battery is dead. Y'all, I'm annoyed. No. Let me I know, you just want to finish and relax. No, but I want my vacuum. Yeah. yeah. I want my vacuum, dude. Like, seriously. Anyways, let me go ahead and put these candles away over here.
currently i am burning laundry day and then in here i just put all these you know little cute candles away and then over here i have another drawer of candles yes ma'am it's a little bit of a mess so this particular one was cheap i got it at dollar general um as y'all can tell um but the wick went into the wax so i have a wax warmer that i'm just gonna go ahead and set this on top of but i do have some new candles in here as well this one is coconut sandalwood this one is into the night and then this one is peach bellini those are literally like my three faves some of my three faves this is just a little candle fresh and clean from pink it doesn't smell like literally anything and then this one is from walmart and it's one of the strongest candles i have ever owned in my life and it is pumpkin and waffles and then over here we just have like a cashmere glade candle over here but anyway i'm gonna get back to y'all because i'm gonna eat on some food and then let y'all know what the heck is going on <sighs> oh my goodness okay so a little bit of trial and error but we did it but we did it i came out of more money but girl we did it so we went to walmart because it would not charge it was broken it is what it is we went there we got our refund i got cash back and then i used that cash to put on this new one that we just got from target so we went to target and got a shark one it's a pet like shark one the other ones were 400 500 600 baby no we are not um what's that dude name that's so rich i forgot but i don't know jeff bezos jeff bezos um uh, elon musk is a, and uh, <laughs> listen i we ain't cashing out like that so i bought this 200 dollars one which is still a freaking lot and we're gonna go ahead and try this one out um but yeah i use cash on it and then i use the rest of my card i was like can i like put cash on it and then the rest of my card she's like yeah girl of course i'm like okay sweet and then the dude in there he must see me a lot and see jordan a lot he was like you guys haven't bought everything in the store yet i was like nah <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really get what he was saying until now I get what he was saying. He sees us a lot. We buy a lot of stuff and it is what it is. So anyways, girl, I'm about to go home. Try this out. Camera just died. So perfect. Let's go try this dang vacuum and see. It's going to work in Jesus name. Amen. y'all i was not paying attention to the store and i did not really read the box and see that it clearly says corded stick back i did not know that i also didn't really read too i was looking at prices that was the problem but this thing is so freaking powerful and it literally says powerful pet hair pickup it is extremely powerful i saw it was working on your carpet working on the floors oh, everything is up everything's picked up oh my gosh it's amazing like the floors are super clean from it. like i don't have to sweep no more this that's, thing works that's so good so what you gonna do with it what you gonna do with your your broom my broom yeah well the problem with the broom is i got it it was cheaper but i was like it's cuter than the more expensive ones because it's all gray oh but it untwists it's the wall it's the um target brand it untwists on its own while i'm sweeping so this is perfect i'll still use that if i need to if i don't want to bring this thing out um what i like about it is that it's lightweight they're real sleek like they will literally go this way that way this way that way real easily which can be good and bad but the only thing i seriously prefer about the other one is first of all the light the bright light that comes from it mm -hmm. that was gorgeous yeah um second of all was um the no cord you can't go wrong with cordless cordless anything is so freaking handy but charging it isn't. Yeah, that's real. So I will say that I do kind of prefer the cord. It's just that it's so easy. We just got to go ahead and run it across. Okay, girl, look how much you picked up. Just in that little bitty time. Dang, that's just in that problem. little bitty time. Wow. And it's super easy to go ahead and clean the filter as well. You just pull this thing. Take that thing out. I'm pretty sure you just take that out. I'm going to have you do it later on. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to mess up my nails. But. Come on. This cord keeps going this way, that way. Dang. <laughs> I don't care. Cool. I mean, it's pretty compact. It's pretty lightweight. It's pretty dope. So honestly, I don't have a problem with it. I got to go ahead and take this tag off, but I haven't really read it yet about the filter maintenance. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that on and put this away. And you put this in the laundry room? Mm-hmm. The other one you put in the laundry room? Yeah. Cool. Don't look at my laundry room. It's a mess. It's like the messiest <laughs> place in the grip. And let me slide over here. All right, then. Gosh, she be getting her room looking so nice and sleek. 
Like, yeah. I can't wait to finish my pinch. Headrest! Yeah, because you barely touched it. I really did. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my coconut sandalwood white barn concentrated room spray. Actually, boy, we ain't done. Put that light away. Put these things back. <laughs> and I got to put the rug back in front of the door, too. I don't know why I thought I was done. Boy, look at my counter. Oh my gosh. I guess we could do got a couple more things. We actually did <laughs> this. Oh, is that a bug? What? So ain't I don't know what that little speck is, but I ain't vacuuming it. Um, so we got a couple different pieces. I believe this one is for like cleaning, you know, flat surfaces and couches. This one is also for the couch. Like you can just run it over your couch, which is so perfect. I'm glad that she is a anti-shedding dog. Um, and then this one is for like the corners and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in like a safe spot. I'll put them over here in one of these little drawers to kind of put them to use some type of way. I did notice though, and I'm not sure why you did it, but I did notice that you put a rag in here. What? Why did I do that? Or maybe I just left it in there. I don't it was know. you or me. We were me. Me or you. Me or you. Me or you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, honestly. If I did put a rag in there, what the heck was I thinking? Quack. Oh, <laughs> Cinnamon spice and everything nice. All right. Now you can go ahead and put the ring light away, the camera bag. I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the crib, y'all. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying everything. This stuff is so strong. I gotta get back to Bath and Body Works so I can get some more concentrated room sprays because when I tell y'all, these room sprays are like the strongest to where if you use number two, go ahead and spray like four or five sprays of this. I know that's a lot considering how strong it is. Four or five sprays of this, it's gonna knock it right out the park. My room is so beautiful. All right, girl, we in business, and we in business, we in business. I love my hair, y'all. It's so cute. I don't know if I want to go long again, but I want to speak too soon. We'll see. Room is looking good, y'all. Bed is made. Okay, okay. The house is pretty darn clean. Let me grab this phone. It is pretty darn clean and all straightened up. Not deep clean, but it's 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 looking pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. Ooh. My desk is like a little bit of a mess, but girl, it is what it is. You can't just say it look clean because it smells clean. It looks like it smells clean. It does. I know for a fact. It does. If I did not come here all the time, I would think that it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. I keep it smelling right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also love how this coconut sandalwood bottle, it's like a little pop of color in my kitchen. It's cute, y'all. It's cute. And that concludes your girl's day. It was a little bit frustrating with the whole vacuum situation, but girl, it's all right. I also did not know that dang vacuum had a cord, but that's a really good vacuum and it's an easy filter to clean. How I broke my vacuum last time was I like broke the filter some kind of way and it just ain't never worked the same. So anyway, super simple, I'm pretty sure. And easy, I'm pretty sure. I did have more to talk about, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it on the next video only because I've talked so much in today's video and it's already super long. So with that being said, I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all. In Jesus name, is there anything else you wanna say, baby? I just want y'all to have a blessed day. Girl, me too. And like it is over here wine, so we're about to go ahead and let her out and have some playtime. <laughs> Do not make my house dirty, girl. I'm about to let you out, mama. I love you. Goodbye.